Hi everyone, this is Professor Mayunga and you are watching Uda Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers. Today I'm going to show harmonic analysis of a step by using cyclic loading. This is a little bit different compared to the previous one. So let us see the statement of the problem. Carry out harmonic analysis of a step bar subjected to a cyclic loading as shown below. Modulus of elasticity is 2.068 into 10 to the power 11 newton per meter square. Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 and density is equal to 7830 kg per meter cube. Cyclic loading is 300 kilonewton and frequency range is 0 to 5000 Hz. And you can see the drawing. Uh, left hand side is fixed actually and it is having cross section area of 200 mm square and right hand side we are having a bigger cross section of area 400 mm square and we have to apply a load at a distance of 150 mm from the left hand side so while modeling these things what we will do is we will create four different nodes one node will be created at the origin second node will be created at the location where we are applying load third node will be created at the intersection between these two cross sections and fourth node will be at the extreme right hand side right we will perform this harmonic analysis using ANSYS mechanical APTL so without wasting time let us start our analysis from ANSYS first of all we need to create a directory and in that directory we need to save everything and after that from file we can change title of this analysis let us make this one as FEA5 okay and to see this one plot replot it will show the title at the lower left corner and as per normal rules we need to start from preferences and it is a structural analysis next to that we need to provide elemental properties and that will come from preprocessor element type add edit delete we have to add it and we are considering beam 3d finest strain we are considering okay let us close it next to that we need to provide material properties material models structural linear elastic and isotropic modulus of elasticity is 2.068 into 10 to the 11 newton per meter square so it is 2.068 e11 and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 okay next to that we can apply density density is 7830 kg per meter cube so it is 7830 kg per meter cube okay done and next to that we need to see the cross sections because this is a step bar let us start this one from here sections beam common sections left hand side we are having less cross section so we can write down this one a smaller one id number is one and we can rename this one small and the cross section area is 200 mm square so we can represent this one as 20 by 10 mm and if we represent this one in meter it will be 0 0.02 by 0 0.01 right it will be 0 0.02 meter and height will be 0 0.01 meter apply now the second one let us point the id of this one as 2 and name this one as bigger one or big area and it is having cross section area of 400 millimeter square so we will represent this one as 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter so it can be represented as 0 0.02 meter by 0 0.02 meter okay done cross section area is done next to that we need to start modeling and it will start from here and in this case we need to create some nodes we can remember from the drawing that total length of the beam was actually 600 millimeter and the smaller cross section was having length of 300 millimeter and the bigger one was also 300 millimeter in between we need to apply a load right so create nodes in active coordinate system 
first node we need to create at the origin so apply first node is already created next node will be created at a distance of 150 millimeter where load to be applied we can look at that one as 0 0.15 meter apply third node will be created at a distance of 300 millimeter from the origin so it will be 0 0.5 3 meter apply and the last node will be created at a distance of 600 millimeter from the left hand side or from the origin so it will be 0 0.6 okay we can see four nodes are created load to be applied at node 2 right next one we need to join these nodes in the form of elements so we need to start from elements element attributes you can see that First two elements will be having smaller cross section so we are keeping the cross section as small okay now auto numbered through nodes we can join node 1 and node 2 apply again node 2 and node 3 also will be having same cross section area so join these two node 2 node 3 okay so these two will be having same cross section area of 200 millimeter square Right. next one we can change the elemental attributes and instead of small cross-section area we'll change it to bigger one okay now auto numbered through nodes let us select node number three and four okay so done we made the complete elements make sure that we need to provide boundary conditions and that can be done from here itself solutions analysis type new analysis it is a harmonic analysis okay analysis options we are considering full solution method and printout format will be real plus imaginary okay and we are considering tolerance as 1 e minus 8 okay make sure that we need to define loads right apply structural displacement on nodes first node will be fixed so select first node okay and it will be restricted to move in all directions and that's why we can select all degrees of freedom with zero displacement okay first node is fixed next to that we need to provide some support at the fourth node so again structural displacement on node let us select node 4 okay and we need to provide a support from y that means it is restricted to move in the y direction okay done now we need to apply force moment on nodes at node 2 we have to apply a load of 300 kilo newton right select node number 2 okay along x direction it will be 300 kilo newton so it will be 300 kilo newton and imaginary part will be zero okay done next one we need to select load step options and from there we need to select time frequency frequency and sub steps so we'll start harmonic frequency range from zero to 5000 and number of sub steps we are considering as 100 and it will be stepped one okay done let us solve it from current ls solution is done now we can see our results from time history post processing okay so close it time history post processing first of all we need to load it we need to have displacement at node number two so it will be df solution and x component of displacement okay let us select that location at which we want to see the response we want to see the response at node number two selected okay done now we can see the response in the form of listing also from here this is providing listing results at node number two 
right we can see this result as this is very important one we can save it at any specific location but we are not saving right and we can see the response in the form of graph also from here see this is the response you can see peak head displacement is occurring at a frequency of 1500 right now to see the response in a better way we can change the orientation of this axis so plot controls tile graphs and modify axis we can modify y axis instead of linear we'll make it logarithmic okay done plot replot it will show the change so this is the response right so with this one we'll conclude our today's analysis this is a very simple analysis it was a harmonic response of a step bar under cyclic loading right thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye